certainly learned this firsthand as a parent. Getting children to eat their food is a challenge for many of us, especially when it comes to something substantial and, yes, nutritious. But luckily, children tend to eat with their eyes, so anything that looks fun and scrumptious is going to go down without a fuss, hopefully. So let's put it to the taste, especially if they're able to create the dish themselves. So I suppose I'm going to be the big kid here. Or is Anne-Marie going to be the big kid? We'll find out. Today, we welcome back our dietitian, nutrition, health and wellness manager at Nestle, E-S-A-R. It's Anne-Marie De Beer, who is going to help us make something that's fun to look at, yes, but also fun to eat and really healthy. Nestle, Milo, oat and banana monster smoothies. You had me on monster. Um, <laughs> I love this. Anne-Marie, welcome back. Great to have you, you here. Why do we need breakfasts like this? Why is it so important to have that nutritious start to our day, especially for our kids? So I think breakfast as a rule is extremely important for our children. But if our children don't want to eat breakfast, and very often we see that when it's a hurried morning, um, there's just no time, um, or that just are not kids that really eat breakfast, then this is an easy way of getting children to start eating breakfast again. So making a smoothie, um, and we don't want the children to drink their food all the time, but this could be a <laughs> very help, good yeah. <laughs> um, solution for kids that doesn't want to eat in the morning. You know, so um, just as a start to get them to eat something more, more interesting and, and kind of fun so that they buy into actually having breakfast. It's that, I, I call it the investment. You know, once they're invested in it, then they're there. And it also helps kind of teach them about kind of patience and other things and a little bit of work gets a nice result and gets something out there. What advice do you have for parents in that space who are struggling with those fussy eaters? What would you say is, a, is the, the kind of approach? Uh, I think there's a couple of things. The one is make sure kids are hungry. Kids mm -hmm. that are not hungry are not going to eat and that doesn't make them fussy. It just makes yes, them not yeah, hungry. Think of yourself, yeah, yes, exactly. Exactly. So that for me is the first thing. This, the second thing about fussy kids is find out what are the things that they like because the fussy kids even eat stuff. They, yeah. They're not starving <laughs> themselves. And try and use that in the meals that we are having. And I think the smoothie today is actually an excellent example because most kids like banana. But if they don't like banana, you could have used apple. Um, or any other fruit for that matter. What their favourite things yes. are. And let it be a conversation that kind of Correct. builds and grows. Even when you're out shopping, you know, budgetary Absolutely. constraints aside, just make yeah. sure that they, they're choosing what they like. And I think within the spread of ingredients, we've got something that every child will like, hopefully within the spread. But let's talk about the nutrients that are being combined into the smoothie here. So I've put my oats and my banana in. So let's start with the oats. Why is that such a good So oats is actually addition? a fascinating um, ingredient and a cereal, um, apart from it really being an ancient um, grain as well, if you think about it, we've been eating it for very many years, um, it provides energy, but in a very sustainable format. It's got something in it that we call beta-glucan. Mm. And this beta-glucan actually is, is, is fascinating because one of the things that it also does, apart from sustaining you, it actually helps for adults with high cholesterol. It actually breaks down um, the fat within in the, the in bad the, fat. The yeah. bad fats. So it's it's really a brilliant ingredient. But I love it for children because it helps them in terms of sustained energy. And when we talk about sustained energy, it doesn't mean that they don't have to eat for the rest of the day. It really just means that as the kid is using the energy, it actually is released in a sustainable way. So it doesn't it's create conveyor belt. Yeah. It doesn't create those peaks and troughs. So it it really just helps him to have sustained energy for a period. I love that. And of course, bananas are a, uh, I think, a go-to for anyone who is doing a lot of physical exercise. I get that. Why are bananas so healthy? So banana is actually a very interesting food. Apart from being quite energy dense, um, it's very nutrient dense and it provides things like potassium. Now, potassium we need in every single cell of the body. Wow. Um, and, and muscles can't work if there's no potassium. Um, so, and that's why we, we actually, I think many athletes use, use bananas for that reason. Um, so uh, we went on our recommendation, that's on the tin, um, with a single serving of Milo. And that is how easy it is to create your own beautiful smoothie. And I know I'm gonna enjoy it. 
Because it's going to taste like Milo. <laughs> That's the joy of it. <laughs> and it's cold. And if I remember correctly, you I am the cold, cold one. I'm all about that cold. No, I really am. Um, and I do, I, honestly, my, especially with my boy, who, who does expend a lot of energy. I, like, even if he's playing, like, PlayStation, it was like, oh, you must get him out so I don't have to do anything. He'll play for 15 minutes, go and put his Spider-Man outfit on and reenact everything he did in that That's game, it. live action, um, for another two hours. Even when they're playing, they're on it and they're, they're kind of expending energy, but also using their brains. Correct. And, and you know, these kind of smoothies, what's, what's nice about them, for all the children, is they can make it in the afternoon when they come back from school. Mm. So instead of... Again, um, probably not eating nutrient-dense foods, we can help them to actually have something that is nutrient-dense that they're going to enjoy at the same time. Um, as you put on the finishing touches, I think you're doing the little mouths now of our monsters. Um, I love this, I and we've do. got some, some beautiful berries going in there. Just very quickly, this idea of kind of um, empty calories. How does Milo stack up with your other drinks that you'll have your teas and obviously not coffee for a young person but for the rest of us um, how does how does Milo stack up so I think this is the nice thing about Milo is that it actually provides nutrients with the energy and and with Milo we have what we call active go and this is a part name from the malt that we use to make Milo with there's actually vitamins and minerals six extra vitamins and minerals added to it so we're providing something nutrient dense and there's nothing wrong with tea and coffee but again for children we want to pack whatever they put in their mouths with nutrients because we have in a micronutrient problem in our country, just as a matter of interest. We don't have, our children don't have enough vitamin A, they don't have enough vitamin zinc um, or even iron. So this is a great way of actually adding the nutrients that the kids need um, in a way that they're going to also enjoy. Um, and it looks absolutely amazing when you dress it up like this. And, of course, I said brilliant things on the horizon. We know this delicious uh, chocolatey multi quick smoothie is just one way that our kids can start the day off on the right footing, made from natural goodness of malt, our milk, cocoa. It's the perfect way to give your kids the energy to go further, to get your hands on these recipes. Please stop by our website, expressoshow.com. But if you really want the best way to start your day, imagine that you could be winning your very own sportsman's warehouse trolley dash with 20,000 Rand for you and for your school. You'll be a hero. All you have to do is buy a ton of Nestle Milo and enter the competition by following the instructions. You can find those terms and conditions that apply on their website. And remember to keep an eye out for that Nestle Milo. It's go time team at your local shopping center. Um, it's go time for the smoothie. It looks absolutely beautiful. I don't know where we can see this creation there. There is our Little smiling, friendly monster. Hello. Greeting the world. And Marie, thank you so much. I'm going to keep this one because I am a fan of the cold <laughs> and have a taste. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's go time with a cup of Nestle Milo at breakfast. Give your kids the energy to go further.